men, especially young girls who are vulnerable. The real meaning of marriage is your self-development. Hello everyone, I greet you all according to your time, Michael people. I don't see come back again with another or bonkey just hey Michael people. You get this particular video where they train for media. This video one of the so just that I note the video on to say because of social media policy. This women one of the sister or this lady one of the sister so where the gun then they pray to God, may God locate their husband to them. No, me say no go to pray, but before you they pray, may God locate your husband to you. First, check yourself first. Do you have character? Are you a wife material? That you need to ask yourself first. Where, Michael, people. After that video, they go on for social media. Blessing CEO, think she herself talk concerning this particular video. Uh, make one just watch and please don't forget to share this video. We may bless it. I come on our way next time. Bye. It is high time you women know the difference between content and prayer. This is becoming embarrassing. Exactly. A pastor will gather women in church. You as a woman will go and call it wedding dress and be constituting news to the public in the name of looking for a husband. So bad. I want to tell you something. The world has evolved to content creation. That is how people make money. Stop allowing people use you. Stop allowing people use your vulnerability to make money. I picked so much offense when I saw these women jumping in church and praying for husbands that is the height of foolishness and stupidity that's the reason why we barely have good men in africa not because they are not good men no it's because of the way they are groomed you won't see this thing outside the country at all you people are spilling desperation and that's the reason why men don't take us seriously they take us for granted and it's most in the hotel you go and marry go and marry go and do this one you cannot do marriage alone there is no amount of wedding dress that you wear. If this man come and you marry an idiot, you will leave that marriage. If there is supposed to be a prayer point, it's supposed to be men and women. I have never seen where men are in church praying for a good woman. That's the reason why when they marry you, they look as if they are helping you. You cannot do marriage alone. If your partner does not help you. If a man does not want the marriage to work, you will come out of that marriage or he will leave you or he will abandon you even if you are that desperate and you want to die there. He will kill you and he will move on. Can religion stop all this nuisance? You people are the ones causing all these things for women, especially young girls who are vulnerable. The real meaning of marriage is your self-development. It's not this nonsense you're going to go and do a marriage. You put focus so much on the wedding. You can imagine they have to come and wear a wedding dress. <laughs> wedding is not married. There's some people that are married quietly. They did not even do wedding. They did not wear mm -hmm. that wedding dress. And they are still in their marriages today. Mm -hmm. Some people came and made noise and wore the best wedding dress. Today they are out of the marriage. They are giving you a wrong perception about marriage. Marriage is you. Your self-development. What you've inculcated in yourself. They don't teach you that part in church. That's my anger. After that day that you wear that wedding dress. Uh huh. Some of you get into the marriage and you are, you are you are blank. Yes, you are numb because you don't know what is happening there. After you do relationship, have sex, have sex, have sex, cook food, you enter marriage now, you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be blank because you've given that man all those, he's used to all those things. A man is not looking for somebody to cook food for him. That's a lie. Food is the easiest thing any man can get now, right now. There is mama put everywhere. In fact, restaurant is one of the most rampant business. A man is not looking for a woman to have sex with him. A shower full everywhere. But the one way stand for road and the one way there for office. There are some things that they told us that men are looking for in a woman. That is a blatant lie. That when you enter marriage, you say, that's not what this man is looking for. Men are looking for women who are deaf, Women who have brains. Women who can solve problems. Partnership. That's what they are looking for. Gone are those days when they leave all the burdens for men to carry. It was during the days of our forefathers. So because men carry all the burdens, it's not left for a man to be providing and a woman to be cooking and sweeping. But you see, these are our generational men. We need to first of all understand that the world has evolved. 
that's what is killing us. We are still carrying about this a cake mentality about marriage. That's the reason why you find yourself being stupid, wearing wedding gown, and constituting nuisance in public. We have evolved. The kind of men we had in those days is not the kind of men we have now. Because women are talking about equality, and men have seen that women can do a lot for themselves. Mm -hmm, exactly. Men have been able to see that women are powerful. Society has been able to give women some certain leverage to be able to show that we can do a lot of things that men can do. During the days of our forefathers, women were not even opportune to do those things. Mm -hmm. You will see a powerful woman. You cannot even come out because if you come out, they might even ostracize you. Or they might even, um, what's it they call them? Push you, come out for village, talk to you, be evil spirits. Strong women in those days are the ones they call evil spirits, winch, ogmanje, the stubborn strong women. Those same strong women is what society has now appreciated. People like us. People like us in those days, if we don't ostracize us, throw us inside bush, now we'll be winch in those days. Just because we want to chase our dreams and we have something to give to the society. Now, the society and men as a whole now understand that women can offer so much. That's why it looks as if a lot of things can change. So now a man is not looking for a woman that can cook and a woman that can clean. A man is looking for a woman that can solve problems. A man is looking for a woman that can contribute. Mm -hmm. A man is looking for a woman that can add to his life. A man is looking for a woman that can make his life easy. That's the truth. Because when you marry a strong woman, when you marry a hardworking woman, when you marry a debt woman as a man, you will not suffer. You will not die quick. There was a time that men used to die because of women. It was stress. Too much stress when a man is carrying the whole body. Yes, in those days, you will see that your fathers died before your mothers. These days, men live longer because at least... When they are going down, when there's no money, when they are broke, a woman can bring 10 naira, 20 naira, 30. A woman can hold on. A good woman can hold the home for a man to stand back. Responsibilities are now being shared. The burden is now becoming a little bit easy for them because in reality, women are stronger than men. It's not by might or by beating or by strength. When I mean stronger, stronger is not an insult. God has given us a very depth power of multitaxin. That's why a woman can do this, a woman can do that, a woman can clean a home, take children to school, go to work, cook, come back, have sex, do a lot of things. That's what makes us very powerful. Men cannot do it. A man will just do one thing, one thing in the office and come back and be frowning. But a woman will do more than 20. That's the power we have as women. And that's the gift a lot of us are beginning to realize. And those are the things a man is beginning to look for in women. Who is that strong woman that can stand the test of time? That can help? Men are not strong. Men are babies. That's the truth. It is society that is just giving us that perception that women. Oh, mm, strong doesn't mean ability or might to fight. Mm, that's not the kind of strength I'm talking about. I'm talking about the inner strength that God gave us. That one is naturally now follow come with women. It's just that some women don't build their own. Sometimes challenges will bring it out. Some of you don't even know how strong you are because challenge never hits you. Some of us were as soft as you were. It was challenge. It's challenges that brings out that inner strength. When man don't show you shaggy, life don't show you shaggy, you have no choice than to bring out that thing that God, God gave to you. He's in every woman, he's in you. There is no woman that is soft. Every woman has it in them. It's just that sometimes when you marry a good man, right, there will be nothing to struggle about. When you marry a man that does what he's supposed to do, uh, that's why you see that it looks as if some women are soft. No woman is soft. There will be no need for you doing some certain things because the man has already done those things. But when you marry a man that cannot do those things, because you marry different men, you have no choice than to sit up, than to cover mm -hmm. that mantle. That's what marriage is about today. Because in the society that we are today, we have a lot of lazy men that feel that marriage is helping you. So when they marry you, all they do is relax. They have mm -hmm. fulfilled mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. destiny mm -hmm. in life by marrying you. You will now be the one that will be struggling to keep the marriage, struggling for the mantle. Please, I am begging a lot of you women, stop being stupid. Mm. Go back home and develop yourself. Go back home and grow your brains. Go back home and put in something in yourself. That is what you're going to give in marriage. Not this nonsense. Not this rubbish. Not wedding dress. Remember what I said from the beginning? A lot of people who are happily married today did not do white wedding. Mm -hmm. All this wedding dress they're asking you to wear. These pastors trying to set your church so that when you find a husband, you bring him to church and come and contribute money. 
and say it is God that did it for you. That's the reason why I don't go to church. That's the reason why I don't like religion. Because to be brainwashed, to become so stupid. Exactly. This is not what God told us in the Bible. All this extra, extra contents that they are creating. It's not in any verse. Dear men of God, I beg, stop using women. Stop making us vulnerable and making us stupid in the eyes of the society. Stop sending a desperate signal. Even if there's a good man that wants to marry you now and treat you right, and see you acting like an idiot in church, how do you think he's going to look at you? And the annoying part is that when you finish acting like this, it is being generalized to women who are busy building themselves. Please, marriage is beyond wearing wedding dress and shouting in church. Pray to marry a good man because you cannot do marriage alone. You cannot do marriage alone. If there has to be a prayer point in church, it has to be when you have found a man, you carry him to church and go and pray on top of his head, not constituting this public nuisance and allowing them to use you to create content. I thought I should drop this message because I felt so irritated when I was watching that video. Even those of you that did not even buy a wedding gown that is your size, you hung your wedding gown and you're making noise. Rubbish. Ah, bless you, CEO. Thank you for this great message. I know some people they will say, ah, what is she as they talk about? But she makes sense. We may stop looking down on yourself. Every woman, there's me for them. There's Osma for them. Stop looking down on yourself. Stop saying that men know the market too. Eh, Ah, it's so it's so ridiculous. You don't ever see men they talk that can say women not the market anymore. Why be say women so women? Please stop looking down on yourself. That is why some men they know they take them serious because they know that now marriage be their problem. Where my country people, what is your take on this video? Please drop your comment in the comment section down below. And see you guys on my next video. Remain blessed. I come on our next time. Bye.